Howdy mates, how are we doing today? This is the fourth video I wanted to make. So I'm out visiting the Kaiser Lake State Park, which is near the town of DeGreff. So we're slightly a bit further up north, not by much. But uh, yeah, Kaiser Lake. So this uh, stretches from about... So you figure we face to the west and then to the east. I would say it's probably about anywhere between five to eight miles across. I mean, I don't have the exact distance down. But this is a, a very friendly uh, state park, especially for recreational use. However, that's not always the case because there is some cases of litter, littering here. But here you actually can find uh, catfish, as a matter of fact. However, there's usually a limitation on the size of catfish that you can find out here. Usually with most fish, it usually you can't exceed anywhere between 15 inches. That's just because they want to ensure that they keep their stock in here. So yeah, anything smaller than 15 inches is not allowed to be picked. But, uh, yeah, so it actually makes a transition from land straight to lake. Uh, <clears throat> I believe this lake was not always here, as a matter of fact. This actually was man-made. Because actually, if you go further to the west... You actually see like a, it's like a dam figure. And it actually creates the headwaters of, uh, I forget the name of the stream. But it runs into the town of Sydney, Ohio. And I don't know if you guys can see it. I just wanted to point it out because I happened to just notice it just now. You see this tree right here? You see those little blooms here? This is a uh, tulip poplar and they call it that because well as you can see with both the shape of the blooms and the general shape of the entire tree resembles that of a tulip and that's how it gets its name tulip poplar also known as the yellow poplar it's a particularly desirable uh, hardwood especially for furniture so we're just going to continue a bit further So yeah, we're we're in a we're at another state park that has experienced a high level of glaciation. So I bet prior to this lake being here, this little section was a bit flatter. And with that being said, we have several glacial moraines that surround this entire area. And I mean, you've also have a chance to find several Silurian period fossils in certain sections. So, I mean, this place has some history that lies behind it. You know, it just gives you a glimpse of the fact that glaciers were through here. Oh, wow. I don't know if it's me or not, but... This uh, trail seems to be a little more crowded than the last time I was here. Crazy to think, the last time I visited this place, it was, let me think, about five months ago? Yeah, five months. Wow. That's wild. Eastern Cottonwood, right here. Yep. Eastern Cottonwood, they typically like to be in marsh-like environments. Which, in a way, we kind of are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. And it finally opens up a little bit. Nice. Yeah. I mean, personally, I don't think I would really recommend swimming in this lake. Because there are certain sections where there's runoff 
that goes into this lake coming from uh, agricultural establishments. So this place is actually prone to experiencing algae blooms. I mean, I can even kind of smell the water a little bit, and it doesn't seem as appealing. And actually, <laughs> I want to send a shout out to my friend, Noah Ganson. Hope you're doing well, mate. I'm actually near your neck of the woods. Yeah. My uh, my buddy Noah, he he's an ex. He really knows this place very well. So, some of the information I'm listing with you guys, some of it I know because of what he has told me before. But yeah. I would say, really, the most prevalent nutrient that feeds into this lake is uh, phosphorus and usually phosphorus is the limiting nutrient when it comes to freshwater systems same thing goes for Grand Lake St. Mary's too up in Salina now for some of my Florida mates on the other hand with them ex starting to experience the red tide again the limiting nutrient in marine waters usually includes nitrogen so it's a bit different and when i say limiting that's the nutrient that is most needed for blooms to happen so all righty i just thought i would share a piece of uh, kaiser lake state park i feel like i kind of went all over the place but i still hope that you guys got something out of it that's something i always try to do in each of my videos so alrighty hope all of you enjoy your saturday and journey on a journey is outwards take care folks